<laughs> Welcome to Ask Endocrinologist. Once again, this is Ask Endocrinology channel where we talk about your health and how to stay healthy. And I'm Dr. Grace and with me is Dr. Hope. Welcome. And we are so glad you're joining us today. Yes. So we are currently on obesity. On the, last week, we started obesity and we have talked about what it is how will you know or how do you know that you are obese or overweight and what are the things that could happen if you gain weight and the causes of obesity today we will talk about the symptoms and the treatment options available uh dr hope is going to talk to us more about the 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 treatment options available for obesity but today i'm going to talk to you about the symptoms of obesity so there are many symptoms that obesity or weight gain can cause. And one of them is poor sleep, which is likely or most times because of obstruction or obstructive sleep apnea. And sometimes it could be caused by hypoventilation syndrome, something called obesity hypoventilation syndrome. And this you could feel by having some snoring, waking up tired, headache, and feeling tired even after sleeping well at night. And the other symptoms is pain in your joints, leading to osteoarthritis, especially on the knees. And this is because of the weight that is you carry on, on the knees. And other symptoms include uh, fatty liver, which sometimes you may not know that you even have the fatty liver until your blood work is done or CAT scan is done and then they found some, uh, something wrong with the liver. And uh, it could cause uh, low self-esteem and it could also cause low fertility. Some people find it hard to get pregnant, not because of hormonal imbalance, but because of the weight that has led to PCOS. And that is why one of the treatments of PCOS is to lose the weight. When you lose the weight, you see yourself getting pregnant. Among any other and many other symptoms are, are present. So if you are having any of these symptoms, uh, it's best to know how you can treat yourself or any of your loved ones have any of these symptoms. This can be treated. And do you know that obesity is curable? You can go back to your normal weight. And uh, there are many treatment options out there that you can use. So Dr. Hope is going to talk to us about the treatment options. And Dr. Hope, as if you don't know, she's a, she graduated a residency training and a fellowship training from Yale. And she has more than 20 years of experience in endocrinology. So she's the best person to tell you today about what treatment options that you can do to take care of obesity. Remember, the more you know, the better you have. So let's welcome Dr. Hope. Thank you, Grace. So let's talk about what the treatment options are for obesity. So the treatment options can be divided into three major categories. One is lifestyle modification. Uh, the second one is medications. And then lastly, surgery. So let's talk about the lifestyle modification. So Relaxation should be the foundation of any um, weight loss uh, pathway. So that includes decrease, uh, decreasing the amount of food that you actually take in. So portion control is important. So eating less food, taking in less calories, and eating foods that are lower in carbohydrates, higher in fruit and vegetables. So more fruit and vegetables, less sugars, less carbohydrates um, that, that uh, allows you to lose weight better. Also increasing activity. So exercise, aerobic exercise, uh, which can include walking, running, um, biking, at least 30 minutes, more than five days a week. So most days a week, those have that as the foundation of your lifestyle um, modification serves as a great way to begin your weight loss journey. Secondly, let's talk about the medication options. So there are several older medications that have been used to uh, 
with, to help with weight loss. And one of them is the fentaramine topiramide. Um, the other one is uh, naltrexone bupropion. And then Orlistat. Orlistat is an enzyme that blocks the breakdown of fat. Um, but more recently, we've been using the GLP-1, the glucose-like uh, peptide medications, which include uh, daily injectables like Victoza um, or the weekly injectables such as Ozempic and Trulicity. Those medications are given once a week, but also have uh, contraindications. One of the major contraindications are people with a history, family history or personal history of medullary thyroid cancer. Also, there are some major side effects, or more common side effects, I should say, which include nausea. Since uh, the gastric emptying, so the emptying of the food is delayed, it means it takes a longer time to pass through the stomach, there can be nausea and you feel full faster. And that's one of the ways it works to help with the weight loss. Another medication includes Monjaro, which is a combination of the glucose-like peptide and GIP, which is a glucose-dependent insulin polypeptide. Um, and Monjaro is a combination of those two that uh, leads to even more effective weight loss. Lastly, uh, there is surgery. Um, there are several different options for surgery, including the more uh, drastic surgical options, which include gastric bypass, and then uh, options that are not as drastic, which include uh, gastric banding, gastric sleeve, and other surgical options. But those are, are options that you would have to personally talk to your surgeon about to help you make a better informed decision to see which works better for you. Um, so this is an overview of the weight loss treatments that are available, and we would love to hear from you. If you have any additional questions concerning this, um, we'd be happy to, to answer those questions. So thank you so much. Back to you, Grace. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Hope. That was very, very insightful. And you've heard it all. Okay. The treatment options available. Don't wait. One of the sample, I have one of the sample here for uh, one of the pains, like the Ozempic, you know, put in the needle here and attach it to it and just click to this dose that you have to give yourself. And then you give once a week and that's it. And you keep your pain. And uh, it's very easy to use and easy to teach yourself on how to use it. Uh, so don't wait. Don't wait. Go out there. Start doing the exercise. Heal healthy. Take, the, take your medications and go for it and you see yourself back to the normal healthy weight remember the more you know the better you are so we'll see you next week as dr hope has said if you have any question any concerns any comments put it down in the comment section or question ask us any question you know we are here to help you we will see you next week and we'll take it from there thank you for listening thank you